Oh, baby. How you doing? Hello, darling. Hello, everyone. Hey, oh, let's go. Hey. All week long. All rise, order in the court. It's the single dirty, but we're just not even going to bother today because uh, I, I just uh, I just heard got some Manning, huh? Oh, man. Uh, Judge Manning, you know, typically, you know, she has you know, the patience of a god. She but does. Today, today just hasn't been her day. She oh. has dealt with, I don't know, just e- extreme idiots, I guess. One of those days. Like we, had, we had a day yesterday. I mean, it just it happens, I guess. It it does it does and in her honor I am throwing down the Manning Express today, nice. hoping uh, that tonight she will have a better night than she did day today. Um. So, the first thing we're gonna watch, Creed, mm-hmm. after I tell everybody to make sure they like and subscribe and all that good yes, stuff, of course. I'm gonna lean over and whisper in Creed's ear. Um. This is a perfect example. What I have here to show you of why Judge Manning has had the worst day I've seen since I've probably been watching her as far as like just totally losing it on people. Now, just to give you an idea of what has just transpired, there Mm -hmm. is a Spanish interpreter for one case. Now, the next case she's about to hear, the man... Uh, is you know speaks Spanish, but apparently he used to teach English over where he's from, <laughs> oh, and he's been in America a very long time. So when it comes time for her to ask his attorney, does he need an interpreter? Of course, he says, uh, you know, no, of course not. We don't need one. And hey now, because of that, Manning gets just really, really upset. So. This is a, not a case we're going to watch. We're going to jump out of this okay. and jump to our actual case. But just going to watch the highlight, if you will. Flush it, thank you. Just thing be glad on. you're not Judge Manning today. That's all I got to say. Yes, ma'am. You need the interpreter, yes or no? No, no, ma'am. Are y'all sure? Because I'm going to release her. Yes, I'm 100 percent sure. 100 percent, Creed. Okay. All right. Okay. Your Honor, thank, thank you. you. So thank you. My pleasure. Uh-huh. All right. Go ahead, Ms. Dorfman. Ask your questions. All right. So I was just is um, so Mr. Salamanca is still under oath, correct? No, ma'am. I'm I'm objecting to Ms. Dorfman asking questions of my client. He is not under subpoena. There has been no subpoena filed. Return. He doesn't service. have to be subpoena. He's been served. He's the adverse He's, party. The adverse party. What is the authority, and, and forgive my ignorance here, what's the authority re- that, that requires or allows a attorney for another party to call an adverse party as a witness without having been subpoenaed? If he every single, case, every single, single, single civil case in, in the state of Georgia, it's 24-6-611. When I was on the bench, I probably had this happen at least a thousand times. I've never had respondents counsel not understand that this was allowed. So already these two attorneys you can already tell you can just they hear it hate each other they've already had to stop one time and go back because of uh david over here his attorney saying you know uh, you can't ask him questions about this and trying to set up all these parameters so they had to stop their case and now they've actually come back and this is their second go at it already just him her asking if he was still under oath he objected to Gary, thank you. Uh, it was premature with the holidays. There it is. Oh, and you get older, that happens. Gary! Yeah. So they continue. And I know Judge Manning and as well as all the other judges that Kitchen your TPOs court? around Georgia are all very familiar with 24-6-611. I can I'm, call the adverse party and I can cross-examine him. 
I'm, I, apologize for, for th- I apologize for throwing a wrench into the process, Judge, but but you know I feel like this is this is necessary to preserve this. Twenty four six six eleven is regarding the order of presentation of witnesses. Look at C. Subsection C does say you can use leading questions on direct examination. When and you call an adverse call, party, if a when a party calls a hostile witness an adverse party or a witness it's identified an adverse, adverse party. party, but does that the subpoena and you rule? You can call the adverse party in civil cases. Okay, you can still assert his Fifth Amendment right, but I can take a negative inference from his assertion of his right. She is allowed to ask questions. Mr. Perez, Understood. please take yourself off mute. I'm yeah. sure Ms. Dorfman will make, will make it very slow and painless. <laughs> Where is ahead, Ms. Dorfman? All right. Mr. Salamanca, can you state your full name again for the record? David Santiago Salamanca Perez. All right. And how old are you? 25. Okay. And you do speak English well, correct? You actually taught English in Colombia. I need a interpreter. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. What? What is going on today? Okay. This is this is a joke. This is a joke. Today is an absolute joke. Your Honor, he speaks English. He taught English. Are you speaking? He said English? he needs an interpreter. I need an interpreter when I cannot express myself sometimes. This is a joke. Mr. Bennett, you just I apologize. You just allowed the interpreter to be um, excused. This well, is ridiculous. I, my this is my joke. understanding is that he does understand English. And he does understand English. What, all I can go off is what Mr. Perez. Do you or do you not need an interpreter right now? Yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. My God. Ms. Free, could you please get her back on here? Because he does need the interpreter. Your Honor. <laughs> I, I agree, Ms. Dorfman. Today, it's like I'm in there some sort of, it's like these 17,000 of these have not occurred before me prior to today. And Mr. Perez knows good and well. He has been here illegally for many years and he speaks English. He taught English. This is ridiculous. I'm not sure my client's immigration status should be considered, Your Honor. Them, uh, oh, Ms. It is, right, it is it's definitely Jones. relevant. All know. right, hold on. While y'all while we're trying to get back in touch with her. All right, so that that is the kind of day. And by the way, this guy, David here, mm-hmm. that needs the interpreter, he pleads the fifth on every question. Spoiler oh, alert. My God. Spoiler. Thank you, Carol. So yeah, that's the kind of day Manning's having. So let me let me just drop this down. Why is it thank you? And uh, congratulations to our chat. I thanked them earlier before the show. Uh, Once again, a comment saying, I like your show, but man, that chat said some really rude things. (laughs) So you, my friend, have just lost a sub. Oh, man. I I don't know what to tell you. Damn it, chat. You did it again. That's that's two times now. (laughs) Here's the thing, lady. I, I, the chat don't work for me. I work for the chat. So, you know, they kind of my boss. Yeah. I don't blame, I don't blame, uh, I don't blame her at all on that one. I mean, especially when you just let person go, they were having just that. Let them go. Chat. And the just... dude, this dude was an English teacher. Oh my God. So we're going to jump to this. Uh, the, I, I went back a little bit. This just happened probably about 45 minutes ago. It's, it's a real, it's almost like the garbage one from earlier in the week. Mm. Manning uh, definitely has to do a lot of rainy in because uh, the, you're not reading it wrong. Creed, that lady's name is amazing. Amazing. Okay. Her mother named her amazing. All right. It's a lot to live up to. Yes. Kev, thank okay. you. Ms. Jackie Sims, can you take yourself off mute too, please? How do y'all raise your right hands? Yes. Where the amazing Sims go. <laughs> All right, y'all swear for testimony, anybody give 
Thomas, you got to raise your right hand too. Yes, yes, yes. We're affirmed the testimony about to give is the truth, all truth, nothing but the truth. Yep, nod your yes. hand. Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Giles, you got to figure out your audio. I'm moving on to this case. All right, Ms. Thomas, specifically, specifically, tell me, start from that most recent event. Work backwards and tell me what independently Miss Jacqueline Sims did to you, and then you can tell me what Miss Amazing Sims has done to you. Amazing. Okay, Your Honor, I'm gonna start off with. How are you related to them? I'm not related. Okay. Your mom's All right, tell me what Miss Sorry Jacqueline about that. Sims did I was doing you. something else. Just okay. Me. Okay. Here recently, well, the most recent thing is that they already violated the order. They had the, her other daughter to come and talk to me. I was sitting in my car. They told her that I was outside. The daughter stays very close by. And the lady, she pulled up on me sitting in my car, which is against the, she can't, it's, she's a third okay, party. Tell me what, besides that right now, start with what Miss, we can talk about that. Tell no me third what parties, Sims please. Did. Most recent, besides that, what we can tell me get this the most recent yeah, thing, I was taking out my trash. This is on the mother's birthday. I was taking out the trash. And the daughter come outside hollering and screaming, bitch, this whole day. I ain't did nothing to nobody. Okay. It's always. So I need to know what Miss Jackie Sims did to you. What specifically Miss Jackie Sims did to you? Mm -hmm. I have a video. You want to, you, you like video? Okay. Oh, we like video. We love like video. Tell me what Miss Jackie Sims, because you Poor were Judge saying Manning. what Miss Jackie Sims did. You were talking about somebody else doing it. So what did Miss Jackie Sims do to you? Jackie Sims is the, is the beginning of all of everything. She what, what she do in you? her life. Her daughter do, uh, does a lot of things. It's an Tell me what she does. Her mother, her mother th threatened to jump on me and everything. This is ongoing for years, Your Honor. Jump on her. Stop, stop. We're taking a time out. Mm-hmm. All right. Miss Thomas. Yes, I want you. To, this is what I want from you, Judge Miss Jackie. Sims I'm served, told me everybody. 182 times in January, and I know that because I know it's her number and I heard her voice. Judge Miss Jackie Sims did this. That's what I want. What did Miss ja and we'll talk about Miss Amazing Sims? I want to hear about Miss Jackie Sims first and only. Okay. What okay. did Miss Jackie Sims a date and what she did specifically? Jackie Sam threatens to fight me. I asked him to stand in the kitchen a couple of days ago, and she told one of the other neighbors she would jump on me if she got in trouble. She just, she is the beginning of all this, Your Honor. If you see the video, you will understand everything. All right, share, share. you got to okay. share your screen to show a video. Show okay. Y'all all live together now? Mm -mm. No, we don't live together. No. Hold on, let me see how I do it. Okay, you figure out how to share a screen. I got to step away from this for a minute because I'm going to have a heart attack. My blood pressure is going so high. <laughs> right mm -hmm. it's a black, so it's a black, figure out how to share a screen and I'll be uh, right back. Okay. So this would be typically she, where she I, would can cut. Say what I, do. I would cut something out. But mm -hmm. Listen to Jackie. Yeah, video I did. It's okay. Hot mic. Yeah. She didn't tell me what I did. Hmm. But there's so much that goes on in this uh, intermission right here that we're just sticking with it because a lot happens. You got Amazing. You see right there, there's Jacket at Amazing's place. She just went in the fridge. Here she comes Jackie back. What'd she give? I don't know. Oh, a tall boy. All right. Popping tops, son. Popping tops. Ashley right there is having a very good time during this. She's just smiling. Um, we're going to sure. screen. Oh, somebody's recording this live right now. I don't think they're supposed to do that, are they? Oh, and why is Miss Jackie in this little screen? Huh. Little screen Jackie. Nice crotch shot. Well, I mean, that's her best feature. Again, problems with sharing screens. Never goes well, Creed. I don't blame her. She should be. After all. I, I have never seen her have the day like she's had today. Every case was a cluster F. Every case. Not just 
one, all of them, top to bottom. Now, uh, Jackie down here is a she's a fan of creeds. Why? Well, she, she likes to. She's smoking. Away. Got a chance to light one up. Might as well. Why not? Smoke them if you got them. I believe they say right, Creed. Now she talked about Jackie jumping on her. Jackie seems like a badass. I wouldn't want to mess with Miss Jackie. No sir, Bob. I love that they're in. Uh, they're supposed to be in separate rooms. And they're basically like right in the same back to back almost. <laughs> of course. Do you think Miss Jackie sits on the doorstep like that and just looks over there at Miss Thomas's place? I could see that. She seems intimidating. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what Miss Thomas is doing. Okay, got, oh, well, maybe. Thank you, Judge Middleton. Methamphetamine is some powerfully addictive. Uh, he's got new cameras uh, hooked up and ready to go today. I hope he's got new microphones. Audio, it, they said that they were working on the audio, but it's, he's still low as can be. And then but then you get into that one room, and it's just like, it, it, it's so loud. Wow, she just gave that cigarette to another person. Oh, I love you, Do you do that, Creed? Do you share cigarettes with people? I, I do not. Go get your own. It's kind of nasty. Stop eating and drinking coffee while we're in a courtroom. And smoking. Well, smoking definitely a, a bad idea. Wow, look at this, Creed. Uh, what are the chances that our I have synced our clocks up with the clock on her phone? Amazing. Works perfect. <sighs> she has had... Quite the day. Uh, while you're waiting, this is the opportunity where you like the video, you subscribe, and you just want more and more and more and more. What a day. Anybody want to get bets in on how well uh, Miss Thomas does the screen sharing? All right. Oh, they got a new shot over there, though. It's like from the judge's bench almost so you can see the whole room uh remember how you know over over with uh judge middleton you could only see like the, the little the pieces just a little, yeah a shot. that helps but yeah the volume still seems very low it is what it is judge Sims, you may be in your house miss jackie Sims, but you don't smoke in my courtroom and you're in my courtroom oh, I'm, right sorry. Now. I'm sorry i'm sorry judge even All though right. I just finished one. Go ahead, Miss Thomas. When did you take this video? <laughs> take yourself off mute, Miss Thomas, and tell me when oh. you took the video. And I can promise uh, you, Judge Manny was, watches the chat. A few months ago, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does a few months ago mean? Uh, let's see. A few months ago. It's up to January? This is from in June. This the uh, this the one that I actually have that is recent that actually caught me. Uh, June I, of last year. That wasn't a few months ago. Well, okay. 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 Well, you got to tell me. How is June just a couple of months ago? A couple months ago. Just oh, this is just, just, just the other day, you know, June of 2022. Irrelevant. Okay, so tell me, what the, is there audio to this video? Yes, it is. All right, so you're going to have to let me hear the audio. Don't talk over it, but first tell me, what am I going to see? Okay, on this particular day, I was sitting in the back of my truck with my son. This was right before I had to get ready for work. Amazing Sims came by taking out the trash. We didn't say anything to each other. She went in the house and convinced her mother that I was outside with my son talking about her, which never happened. Jackie Sims ran out the house. Bitch, this, I don't know if we could cuss, but I'm being cursed out. And I'm like, Jackie, what did I do? So I asked Amazing. I'm like, Amazing, what did I do? The daughter proceeds to run down the steps, hollering and screaming. She gonna jump on me. She gonna do this to me. All in front of my son. He's only two years old. The baby goes everywhere I go. Okay, play the video. Hey, okay. And don't talk during it so I can hear it. Yeah, let's all listen to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up, brother? Hey, Hawk. 
Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is compelling stuff. It's amazing, yeah. Amazing Sims. Mm -hmm. Four minutes of this amazingness. I mean, maybe explain what's going on while you're playing. <sighs> Well, we have a second. Flush See, they're yelling. They're yelling and stuff right there, walking off. Darlington's a racetrack where they uh, race uh, cars around a oval. Creed's a fan of the Darlington. That is. So it's just I a video of them yelling back and forth, walking. And I don't understand why, Your Honor. But I mean, you could see Ford's what, what went on. Another neighbor even had to come and get her for yes. doing what she's doing. All she that for that. All the time you're on it in front of my son. I'm with my That's, son daily. I don't okay, bother okay, nobody. Okay, okay, stop. That's what you got. Tell me something besides you that Miss Jackie Sims has done to you. That was June of last year. What specifically has she done to you in 2023? He threatened to jump on me. They threatened yeah. to jump on me all the time. Other than that, nothing for Jackie Sims, Yana. Jumping on me. Right. Tell me what Miss Amazing Sims did. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Specifically, Miss Amazing Sims. And give me okay. this. I see. Thank specifically, you, Amazing Sims. Okay, uh, right before I did, took out this order, finally. I'm, I'm coming from the trash. I haven't said anything to anybody. Amazing Sims runs out the door, bitch, this, all that, all on the porch. Her mother was having a birthday party. That's the thing. And I wasn't doing anything but taking out the trash. I gotta be bitches and hoes. Look, I got my young children. I know, I ain't you no know, telling when these folks gonna find a jump on me. A few months back, this was in February. Her, her and her mother was on the porch. The mother was right there. Amazing. She wanna yell and cuss and scream. The mother right there with her. She even threw a lit cigarette at me and my son. What? That was she like, is she Andrew Dice Clay? Yeah. Take that. Uh, look, she does smoke, so at least we can halfway believe that story. That's cruel to the children. She had a water bottle. She threw that. The mother knocked it down. I can't say. Jackie knocked the water bottle down. I called the police that night. Nobody came. But the next morning, I called again. And someone did come out. But he informed me that he really couldn't do anything about it because it happened the night before. I have to wash my back just taking out the trash. I want to sit out the other night after school. I go to school. My son goes to school. I'm in school for radiology. I barely can sit on the porch when I want to, not knowing when this girl gonna come downstairs and try to jump on me. She has ran down those steps so many times on me, and it's beyond ridiculous. And I'm tired of the situation. I want. Who is she talking to? She's like doing like this. I I don't know. And she's fast talking, so you know. I understood she had a two year son that went everywhere with her, but then she said she was a student and her son goes to school too. I I see that amazing is ready to blow up just like manning just did previously <laughs> poor judge manning she's gonna be all gray by the end of the year i want to be left alone so i could just do my studying and better my situation for my children i don't have time for miss sims i i just don't i don't i don't want to be attacked i don't want my son to be attacked in the process my son follows me everywhere i go all right, Thomas, slow down slow down so far what i've heard from you is she's calling you bitches and hoes that, that's that's what i've heard Throwing lit cigarettes at me and the baby, and like the girl does a That's lot of stuff, on it and it's not okay. This, this girl, run... Judge Anna, can I please? Yes, she Ms. armed Ms. a cigarette. Ms. Jackie Sims, let me hear from you first. Yes, ma'am. How you doing, Judge Your Honor? Oh, go ahead. I'm Judge Your Honor. I haven't spoke to Miss um, Thomas in over two years. I don't. Um, I go out my door. I go past her door. I go past. I go. I mind my own business. Everybody around here knew I don't speak to her. I don't say nothing to that lady. And I don't, I don't, I don't even associate with her. I just pass my home like a tree. I don't say nothing to that lady. I ain't spoke to her over two years. She says she passed her like a tree. I believe that was the saying, yes. That that's a absolutely new metaphor, but I am stealing it. Uh-huh. Oh hell no. Passing it like a tree. Judge your honor. Mm -hmm. All right, Ms. Sims, uh, Ms. Amazing Sims, what would you like to say? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm, I want to clear my name about the lit cigarettes, Judge Yana. I have never flicked no lit cigarette at a child. For one, every time I come outside, Miss Thomas, she rushes outside. 
Like Ho. she's eardropping at the door. She comes outside when she see me outside making noises. The other day, but it was Wednesday, before we came to court, she's out there barbecuing. I'm out there washing clothes. She has her grill right by our steps. She's standing right there at the grill. As I'm coming down the steps with my laundry, she's standing right there backing up, trying to get me to bump into her. I walked over to this red car that we have right here in our parking lot. So company, my friend came over, net pulls her grill in the middle of the parking lot. Like we supposed to hit her or something. No ma'am. Ed. Ed, 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 Ed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so surprised Manny isn't like is that you please mute. I think they can get, I think that I, I, a day like today you can get away with a lot of stuff because she's gonna pick her battles now that she's already been, you know, through the ringer. Yeah. You know, now it's just like <sighs> Judge Your Honor. Ain't nobody messing with this lady, ma'am. This stuff been two years ago. Don't and I'm in it too close to one another. Not gonna let nobody in here lie on my name, Judge Your Honor. Crank it. This girl is supposed to lie. Mm-hmm. She is supposed. Well, how did I get a video? Did, did you just hear that? Did somebody go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody was singing. I think somebody yeah. might break into a, a hymn or something. I believe. Oh boy! Yeah, she does pronounce laundry a little off. Uh, laundry. And this lady's going to become a radiologist. Yeah. I, sometime we should just do a show where it's just like just the upper part of our, and we'll just keep talking like this through the whole thing and really, really fast. I think that's how you do it. I love everybody's face right there, especially uh, it, Mace. I, I'd like to. I'd like to point out the fact there's no proof of anything yet. Nothing. 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 Burger. A zilch. Zero point zero. How do we just have words a few months ago? How did all this take place? A few months ago, you had video in June. What video <laughs> did you have recently? Hmm. My camera doesn't catch everything, though. I can't. I can honestly say my camera doesn't catch anything. But how do we? If it been two years, huh? And I cannot barbecue in the middle of the parking lot when cars are coming back. This doesn't make sense. You're, oh, I, was barbecuing. <laughs> when I, was a- I can't barbecue in the parking lot with all the cars out here. Yeah, come on, that don't make sense. That don't make sense. It does make sense. You plop that charcoal grill anywhere you please. Barbecue grill. Talk to people barbecuing in the middle of 285. <laughs> Can't barbecue in the middle of the parking lot. Well, they did. You obviously weren't here for the first picnic. They barbecued <laughs> in the middle of the interstate. Broke out the charcoal and everything. <laughs> I just want to be left alone. I have not done anything to anybody. Ain't no way I could barbecue in the middle of our parking lot. It's a one way in, one way out. So if you want- Judge Your Honor, we have a spot where we all supposed to barbecue at. It's in a picnic area, and she was all out there in the parking lot trying to get me to bump her. For what? Why are you? Why you keep picking with us? We're not messing with you. This girl is a compulsive liar, Your Honor. Please look. I'm messing with you. Good to see you, Dave. How do you bump a parking spot bothering somebody? I know. Here's everybody. This is insane. This is insane. This is neighbors. You know, it never matters. I give these same speeches that people roll their eyes. Ladies and women of color, you should be lifting one another up. It is hard enough out here. You should be lifting one another up, protecting one another, looking out for one another, because there's too many women out there that are getting hurt by other people by their spouses, by their significant others, getting getting her walking up, getting her delivering food. And you ladies should be looking out for one another. If it's like when I was a kid, it still took a village. So if there's kids, guess what? If something was to happen and one of your children ran outside, Miss Thomas, I got a feeling, even if Miss Jackie Sims don't like you, that she would go and dash out there and get that kid from in front of the car. That's what a village does for people. This is the Oh my God, sir, put that cigarette out. I don't give a crap that you are outside of your, this, what is wrong with everybody today? <laughs> you know what, Miss Reed, we're going to start bringing people in person. People are going to learn how to act in a courtroom. 
fear. I feel so bad for her. It's it's the worst day ever for her. Ever. It's little things that shouldn't be oh, happening. Light another cigarette, sir. You heard me tell Miss Sims to stop smoking. All right. I'm not going to put this in place because you ladies seriously need to help one another. It takes everybody helping one another. It does. Don't say anything to Miss Thomas. Don't, it, don't make her come back here again with complaints. But I do this in your neighbors. And we all got to live somewhere near neighbors. And some neighbors don't like each other. Some just don't like them. But don't do this. Just decide you can't get along. But try. You're going to need each other at some point in time. Y'all place your emails in the chat. Once you do, we'll send you a copy of the dismissal. Y'all stay healthy and safe. Please take care of one another. And you know what? Be more like Michelle. When they go low, you go high. When they go low, you go high. I'll be like Michelle Obama. Make us happy. Y'all place your email in the chat. We'll email you copies of the dis dismissal. Okay, so they're going to keep on going to the next case. Manning is now doing something I had said a long time ago I wanted her to do. Yeah. Don't cut it off. Just burn through oh, it. Just let it roll, Makes yeah. it so much easier for mm -hmm. people like ourselves that are grabbing content, things like that, which she 100% approves of people using her content. She, Like I said, she reached out to us, said that she was happy that people were getting to see what they were dealing with. And it's a, an important part of, uh, you know, the justice system. Uh, old man Vic, you know, I live in Rock Hill. Rock Hill. All right, so check it. If you're here from 1230, camera's on, stay on mute. Camera's on, stay I wish on we mute. could send her something. Just, I know what I mean? just something, just even, even a note. Like, my God, have a better day. <laughs> I mean, I have her email, you know, I, I responded to her and I, I mean, I'm, I'll, be really honest i asked her to come on the show sometime i want it i want to talk with judge manning so you know she thanked me for the invite we'll see where it goes the ball's in her court no we're not the biggest channel but she'll have the most fun here i promise you that that's a great point uh yeah georgia pete's that's where uh emily got her uh degree from oh winthrop not used to seeing all these people uh, here, uh, except late night for us, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a camera on session where she's bringing in all the twelve thirty. Eight months of member. Thank you. Sorry, I missed a few uh, hallelujahs there for uh, memberships, uh, as far as membership anniversaries, I should say. Uh, thank you, guys. That is awesome. And don't forget uh, later five thirty east uh, after we got a case, a chase, and after we got a case. Technically, keep talking. Members only. Members only, as they say. Members only. Oh, so thank you. Yeah, she needs... I, I I wish we could send her one of those ridiculous uh, like edible arrangements or something. Or a bottle of liquor. I don't even know what she drinks. Oh, I wish we could send her flowers. Something like that would be great. She needs it today. My God. I feel bad. It's just one of those days where just everything's going to be like that. Oh, she really is. She really is. Yeah, thank you, Fire Captain. That's awesome. Stormy afternoon in Arkansas. Right, right. Yeah, afternoon delight. Afternoon delight. Yeah, I wish I could. I I would so hang out with with Judge Manning, but she's she's so cool to us. She she really gets it. And she said one of her staffers, which I believe is Miss Free. Yes, I think so. Watches our channel. And made her aware of our channel. So that's how Judge Manning found us to thank us was through one of her staffers. It's Miss Free. I know it a hundred percent. It's Miss Free. Has to be. Has to be. Do <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> I'll I'll send it if we if she needs it, we'll send it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me see why this is being. Oh, I see why. Never mind. And one, we divorced <laughs> in 2014, and we have three children. Next question: Do you and Mr. Rose have any minor children currently? We do. Great. We have three children. All right. Has Mr. Rose ever threatened your life? He has. What did Mr. Rose threaten? 
my to life. To put a bullet between my eyes. And did oh, you did take she? this threat seriously? Yeah. Absolutely. And were you in fear of him acting on this threat? I am. And what did you do in response to this threat to put a bullet between your eyes? I went to the police department and registered it. I went to the court at Fulton County and got a temporary protective order. I called you, you know, Thank asked you. for advice. Like, um, I stayed out of my house with my children. We left right. Did you, several so days. You and, the children, you and the children vacated the residence. Correct. And were any of your children aware that Mr. Rose had threatened to put a bullet between your eyes? Mm -hmm. They all are. It's a very specific Was threat. Was the first time that Mr. Rose threatened you? No. Has he threatened to harm you in some way previously? Yes. He told I'm me that you. I deserve whatever pain he can cause me. All righty. I am going to show you what has... Sorry, Judge Manning, it's out of order, but I'm going to show you what's been marked as plaintiff five. Share my screen. Ms. Rose, do you recognize this document? Simple yes or no. Do. And is this a true and correct copy of a text message that you received from Mr. Rose? It is. Judge Manning, I move to admit plaintiff five. Submitted. All right, Ms. Rose, could you quickly read the text message you sent to Mr. Rose on November 25th? Mm -hmm. I sent him a text that said hi with a wave. It was the day after Thanksgiving, so it has a turkey emoji. I like, I'm sorry. I, I hate to do this, but I mean, ha I'm not nice holiday. I fucking hate you. You are a miserable bitch. You deserve whatever pain I can send oh, you. Have a nice holiday. Fuck <laughs> you, bitch. You're a loser. <laughs> so wrong, but my God, Mr. Oh, Rose. Mr. Rose, yeah. don't hold back. Tell us how oh, you God. really feel about her. I love how it's hi. Hope you're having a nice holiday. Wow. <laughs> Turkey emoji. <laughs> and then she, he just comes in, punching her in the gut. Oh, oh yeah, get it right. You're a loser, loser. loser. You're a lo loser, <laughs> loser, well, now, baby. Now I hate that Mr. Rose isn't here. I know. I was looking for him. I want to see who she was married to. G. It says, "I hope you're having a nice holiday." And how did Mr. Rose respond last Thanksgiving to your "Hope you're Thank having you. a"? Nice Please call me back. <laughs> <laughs> we yes, I'm sorry we are immature oh, assholes, man. but my god, oh, that's, that's hilarious. Point. It's hilarious. Oh, nice holiday god. with a turkey emoji. He quickly texted back within seconds. I fucking hate you. You are a miserable bitch. You deserve whatever pain I can send you. Period. Another text Fuck you, bitch. You are a loser. I think that's a misprint. She said it right. And then yeah. later in the day, she told you to call him back, correct? And hours later, after I, I I can elaborate on what happened during that time. But yes, he did. Oh, my. All right. I'm sorry. It made me laugh. Call me back. <laughs> call me back. Has Mr. Rose ever physically laid his hands on you? Not yet. Has he ever used his physicality in a way that you felt was to threaten you or control you? Yes, every chance he gets, and I try not to give him opportunities to be near me, um, but we do have children together. Um, so he will do things like stand in doorways where I can't pass. He will put his entire top of his body in the window of my car where I have to warn him, please back up. He must be a big guy. Over your feet, but I'm now gonna leave. He's got to be huge, right? Have he? Does he ever throw things when he's upset? Mm -hmm. He's thrown our dogs. What? Mm -hmm. Look, that other shit was funny, but throwing dogs, that's where no. I draw the line. Throwing effing dogs. Get this guy. Do you believe that there is a real threat of family violence occurring in the future if you do not receive this protective order today? Yes, I know that it 
it's a very immediate threat. I mean, he is demonstrating it and he's a man who- Did she say through dogs? I'm sorry, Judge, we you repeat that. dogs? Oh yes, he has thrown dogs. Uh, Anything that's else, Ms. Fagan? Steven! Um, does he have a Steven. history of substance abuse issues to your knowledge, Ms. Rose? He certainly does. Is there, um, do you have any personal knowledge that he has drank and then operated a motor vehicle with your minor children in the car? Yes, he does that. Boat, boats. Does he, have, does he have a history of mental health issues to your knowledge? And as soon as he, as I found out about that, I have tried not to let the children be with him in a vehicle because of the, my, my concern that he's not making decisions that are safe for people, for him, for anybody. I'm sorry, okay. what was the question, Ms. Fagan? Does he have a history of mental health issues to your knowledge? He does, yes. Has he ever threatened suicide? Yes. Whoa. Has he ever threatened to harm third parties? Yes. In the past six, six months, do you have any personal knowledge whether other third parties have obtained, called the police on Mr. Rose? A hundred percent, and there are police records for that, several. Does Mr. Rose own any weapons to your knowledge? I know he owns a closet, a room full of weapons. Yes, he has rifles, he has, he has pistols, he has um, handguns. I don't know how to speak in that language, but every every gun I've ever seen on any television show, he has them. Okay. And does he have a concealed carry permit to your knowledge? He does. He does. He's always had as long as I've known him. And is it your testimony today that family violence has occurred in the past? Yes. And is it your testimony today that family violence is very likely to occur in the future without this court order? It is, yes. I'm, I'm very hopeful that the court will see my point here. Thank you. You're are welcome. You asking, in addition, are you asking for temporary sole legal, like a no contact order with the children as well as with you? I am. Are you asking this court to have Mr. Rose undergo a drug and alcohol evaluation? Yes, and you and I have asked him that for weeks. I think it's two months now we've been asking him to do that. That's right, safety. David. But as we hear today, are you asking Judge Manning to order an alcohol abuse? Absolutely. Evaluation? Are you asking Judge Manning to order that Mr. Rose undergo some sort of batterer's intervention program, an anger yes. management course? Yes, please. Awesome. Are you asking this court if it feels inclined to order that Mr. Rose continue to pay child support as court ordered? Yes, I am their sole caregiver. Are you, mm -hmm. are you asking this court for an order that Mr. Rose would continue to pay for the children's school tuition and other expenses as he has agreed? I am. Are you asking this court to award you any attorney's fees pursuant to Georgia law? I am. I'm only here because of his actions. All right. And how much in attorney's fees do you estimate as of today you've incurred? $5,000. Mm. All right. Thank you, Judge. That's our case. If you have any other questions for Ms. Rose. Uh, no, Ms. Fagan, do you want to, do you have the uh, order in words so that you can do it and put any language specifically about the children, uh, put their information on the uh, respondents identifying fact sheet and um, you can place the stuff about FBF. Uh, yeah, she said he's got a room full. And room. Did he live in South Carolina? He maintains a house both here in Fulton County and in South Carolina. So what house are the guns at? Creed's both. house. Okay. So right now you can get the guns that he has. Could I get the gun that he has? Like where you're at. Y'all at the same house? No, no. We have been divorced. Okay. By there. okay I do not have access okay to so Ms. Bacon put in there that he has 24 hours to turn over his weapons to, is it the city of Atlanta he lives in? Uh-huh. Okay, he has 24 hours after getting this order that he turns in his weapon to his local police department and to his compliance date for his FBIP will also he be really a compliance is. date where he needs to show me an evidence receipt where he has turned over all his weapons. He will need to send that to the court to show that he has turned over all of his weapons. All of them. Miss um, Free, do you want me to include her email address? Sure. Yes. Yeah. You have you have the an order in word, or does she need to send it to you? If she could send it to me, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll, she can reply to the email with the affidavit that I just sent over. That's free. 
Do you mind sending her the uh, family violence uh, word document so she can um, put all that stuff in there? Yes, I can okay. do Ms. Fagan, she says she Agreed, just emailed Robert. you the affidavit. All right, thank you. And you want your 5,000 under the uh, family violence statute? Aww. Yes, please, Judge. All right, if you want to do a separate order, you could do it a rolling Floyd order or just give him 30 days to pay it. Um, if you want it as a Floyd order, do that. If he doesn't pay you by a certain date, you can uh, incarcerate him in Rice Street until he pays it. If you want to do that, then let me know because we'll do a arrest order later if he doesn't pay it. Do you want a compliance date on him paying the fee? Yes, please. I'm, I would like I'm a compliance he date on that he has turned over the weapons, registered for the anger management course, et cetera. So can we get him on a compliance with in 30 days? Our next compliance uh, will happen to fall uh, is in two weeks. So the next one will be May the 2nd, I believe. Which one do you want, Ms. Megan? May 2nd? I think, that's, I think May 2nd is fine. I think this might give him the wake-up call that my client's hoping he gets. Okay, compliance, okay. So you get him um, signing up for FIP, starting the, you know, the eval, and definitely um, proof of- Seems like they're, the they come from money. Evidence receipt showing them listed, you know, whatever he's turned them over to. All his weapons. Thank you so much, Ms. Fagan, Ms. Rose. Good to see you, Ms. Fagan. Y'all stay healthy and safe. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, Judge. That's how it's going to go. And draw on the yeah. Thompson. Your Honor, I, if possible, can I get an email address for the respondent? Oh, uh, Ms. Rose, if you know an email address for Mr. Rose, can you place it in the chat? So uh, an entire room full of weapons creed uh from yes i'm like I, I, she said she watched uh watched tv and said she had never she watched the uh, movie it. uh predator with arnold schwarzenegger and she said they ain't got nothing on him but for him not to show up that looks bad that's almost as, yeah, that's as bad as the guy that just kept saying i plead the fifth i plead the fifth just in my dog know how they do that and i spoke with um a Fulton County civil clerk as well. Huh? So they were just working on that um, at the Fulton County Sheriff, the Fulton Sheriff Office, oh, the civil process. There's Kim. Kim, when did you get served? Sorry about that. I guess already yesterday. Oh, already Kim. Ready to go forward? Uh, I believe so. All right. Stand by Sakura Holmes. So are they like I'm here, Judge. Sheriff's Guard. Come on, call the young king. And no one was there. Your case is reset until April the 7th at 2 p.m. Place your email in the chat again. We'll send you the reset notice in the sheriff's form. Get that sheriff's form back to Miss Free before 4 p.m. today. So. Once you place your email in the chat, you can leave the I meeting. believe you're correct. As Manning, can I ask you a question really quickly? Uh -huh. I have another um, TPO pending on my husband, OBO Minors, where a gal has been assigned. Um, I placed this TPO order because I assume that the gal would be available and grant me custody. This new TPO that I filed against Sheriff included my daughter. The gal was out of town, and so um, it was spring break, so she didn't, she couldn't go through all of the cases. I have a court date uh, for so. the 28th of this month, and I was assuming that I would. Because there's no service. Yet. Especially when he's threatened to shoot her between the eyes. I, I believe we heard that several times, that that's uh, his plan to, to pew pew her right betwixt the eyes. So, yeah, guns and TPOs. But I, I don't think that they, they take your guns away, and I think they get held like... And they, they're kind of sequestered until the right. TPO expires. Then once it expires, yeah. you get them back. Another court date past the 14th, because that's when when the, the custody battle will be it's complete. April, it's April the 7th. Can I can I get a can I get a, a further out hearing? Sure. I'm 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 spent today. Uh that's past the expiration date, ma'am. It is okay. Yeah. Well, then I'll have to file another TPO then. Okay, thank you. It thank you. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Kanisha, Germany. What? What? Judge, I'm sorry to interrupt. Could you? Um, can we be excused? Can your yes, office confirm you received the affidavit? Yes, ma'am. We can. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Judge. Have a wonderful day. Oh, you too. Felicia Germany. Brandon Woods. Felicia? Here to appear. Jasmine Crosby. Jasmine Crosby. You're not showing up for court. When you Johnson. Here to appear. Katina James. Mark Younger. I'm here. When people want a TPO creed and they don't show up for court, shouldn't we send a cop to check on them? Because maybe they were pew pewed between the eyes by the person that they're scared of. Well, we shouldn't just overlook that. All right, you have to go play social back on mute. Cynthia Bradley. Here. Leon King Jr. Yes. Yes, yeah. I'm here. You still want him to go forward? Yes. All right, thank you. Both of you play social back on mute. You'll be there you fast. Are. I'm here. Archie Battle Jr. Shows there's no service. They went by there three times. Your case is reset on the 7th at 2 p.m. Yeah. Place your email in the chat. Ms. Free is going to email you a sheriff's form and a reset notice. Fill that sheriff's form out. Put as much detail as you can. They went by three times. That means you did not place a two to four hour time frame. That would be the best time to serve them. That could be in the middle of the night. So once you place your email in the chat, you can leave the meeting. Get that sheriff's form back to Ms. Reed before 4.30 today. Stay healthy and safe. Have a good weekend. Uh, your Honor, I have a question. I know I do have an issue that I prior had with Mr. Battle evading service. It's not the first time. Um, <laughs> he's even previously had someone else open the door and said that he did not live there at that same exact address. Okay, this just is not at home. If there's stuff, questions about service, you need to call the sheriff's department. But I need you to return that form back to Ms. Free so that we can take... Your Honor, he's been known to wear disguises. He uh, once put on a mustache and weird nose and glasses combo to fool the officer and then saying, oh, he's not here. Fulton County. What's the reset date for Rice Street, Ms. Free? That date is April 13th. And your case is going to be reset to April 13th. That's the inmate date, April 13th. Place your email in the chat so we can send you that reset notice. And like I said, it's a special date that's set up for uh, people that are in uh, the Fulton County Jail or any other jail that we know. She's about. been here all Please day. On the chat, and we'll send your reset notice. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Michael Jeffrey here. Marcus Nathaniel Stoner does not live there, according to whoever. Um, so it's reset until April seventh. At 2 p.m. Sir, place your email in the chat. We'll send you a reset notice in the sheriff's form. Fill that sheriff's form out completely. I don't know. They said that he doesn't live there. So need she needs one if she there. don't. Two to four hour time frame. Be the best time to serve them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Which push email in the chat you can leave. Is there anyone's name that's a party that I did not call your name? A party, not a witness, a party. To answer that question, I don't believe they do any service by mail. It's got to be either you hire somebody to do it for you or the police do it. And if they don't go on the time that you've allotted that you think they'll be there, then this, they just miss them. Okay. Dutch man is thinking, well... Anybody? Not everybody at once. <clears throat> are we all having like a mental moment? Ms. Simmons, the only thing attached to these emails are pictures of a car. Um, I sent one before that. I sent one before that. For one and two. Very excited. No, there's oh. there's one that um it says affidavit gotcha. of service. It's a, yeah. All right, Your Honor, I have it in the confirmed service on March 21st at 12.40 p.m. Oh, well, Ms. Simmons, raise your right hand. You swear a firm testimony about to give us the truth, the truth, the truth. Oh, there you yes, go. Yes, Your Honor. Wrong hand. She figured mm. it out. 
Is everything in your petition still true and correct? Yes, Your Honor. You still in feel for your safety? Yes, Your Honor. Has he made contact with you since he's been served? No, Your Honor. All right. Are you asking this to be put in place for 12 months? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Yeah, Your Honor. Here, Your Honor, I'm here. Well, how come you never answered? Oh, smoking man. Smoke. The right, smoke. I was smoking. I'm sorry, Your Honor. All right. Raise your right hand. It says Maisie iPhone, which goes completely against, once again, the message that goes into the waiting room. Change your screen name to your name. I'm sorry. I don't know how to do that. You made it Maisie iPhone. Oh, and when you very first sign on, it says, boop, and all you got to do is put your name in there. And you didn't do that. Maybe that's his name, Maisie iPhone. You know what? Let's see. We got an officer sitting here. Let's hear from this officer. So we could get this officer back on the street. Edmund. So you're representing Mr. Younger. Mr. All right, where's this one at? Mr. Edmund. Edmund Harris. That's correct, Dave. All right, just give me a second to take care of. All right, Ms. Thompson, Ms. Segurite, y'all raise your right hands. Y'all swear for test when anybody gives the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I do. All right, go ahead, uh, Thompson, please. For all that is holy, follow my instructions and start from the most recent event, work backwards, give me details, don't get on 285, tell me what time it is and not how to build the clock, and tell me what okay, this lady ma'am. has done to you. That's the second 285 reference today. Uh, she has been calling my phone several times. I had to change my number. 400 times. Um, she has been um, coming to my, my work while I'm at the mall working. She have come there to interrupt me and threaten me, um, say, speaking of my address, saying she's going to harm me. Um, we had a conversation. She said she was going to cut my tongue out or my tongue needs to be cut out. Um, she also um, came back to my work yesterday. Um, following me, telling me that she loved me, um, show up to my other job a week, uh, maybe two weeks ago. That's all on camera. Um, she came in front of my vehicle and I was leaving 10 o'clock in the night, uninvited, um, after being um, blocked and told not to contact me again. Um, my girlfriend's hair flashed, um, after she spoke, like three days after she, um, Told me, spoke up my address and no checked my girlfriend. No matter what she did, yeah. Who is this person to you? Right. Uh, was a friend. Okay. Uh oh, that's a smile. They did it. Go ahead, Mr. Gore. What do you got to say to all that? Okay. Uh, so, yes, the most recent uh, situation going. was yesterday. I knew nothing about a restraining order. Um, her job that she's speaking about is an EJ. It's not a patrol job. It's where I met her at in Lenox Mall. Um, so like me following her around the mall, no. There's camera footage at the mall that I'm working on getting pulled to show that I do not follow her in the mall. I seen her yesterday, which was the first time that I've seen her in about two weeks. So um, honestly, I went up to her yesterday and I told her, uh, I said, uh, Agile, are you going to ignore me forever? Um, and then I said, uh, she said, girl, get away from me. And then I said, uh, like, you know, I, I kind of like put my hands up, like, what? Like, what's going on? Like, 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 just let me apologize. And I said, you know, I love you. And then when I, she pulled her taser out. And then I, when I she pulled her taser out, which is the second time she's done this to me, um, I walked away. And I guess maybe wow. she had phoned her girlfriend because when I turned around, her girlfriend then attacked me. So I'm working on, um, paperwork for her girlfriend um the event that she's speaking about at midtown blue that's my home address i passed by her car that night i seen her sitting in the car when i was leaving a taco place that i go to pretty much every other night so i seen her and again there's some good tacos there huh? i never once threatened her life that night um i walked past her car and i say I, I same thing i just i never approached her window um I, I put my hands in the air and I said, hey, can you talk to me for a minute? She a backed out like crazy, care. backed out, uh, ran over like all the cones. And I'm, I, I, if you look at the footage, which I'm working on getting pulled as well, 
um i was standing there like like what what are you doing we've been cheating for eight months and cheating with me over, on your girlfriend for eight months so like Oh. No, I wouldn't threaten your life. I've been taking, I've been doing everything that you have asked me to do for eight months. If I wanted to sabotage your situation, I would have sabotaged it in August of 2022. Work with her girlfriend. Uh, she already sabotaged it by having sex with her. I mean, come Thank on. <laughs> I would never hurt your relationship. By the way, sex. I, you guys kept asking, like, if she's a mall cop or a real cop. I, I just, I think she's a mall cop. I think now she might be. I but I all mean the this small looks, talk. This looks very official though over there. Uh but I mean she definitely dressed more like a cop cop. How about her pulling her taser out? She just comes up and says, I love you. And she says she go she gonna cut her tongue out. You'll never ever please another woman. I I want to hear more about this taco shop that she's at every <sighs> other night. Oh, she's at the taco shop, all right. So back, go back. Uh, the other event that she's speaking about in Lenox Mall, that, that other event that's listed on, I just found out about her girlfriend's tires being slashed. Um, I literally contacted uh, Fulton County. I don't remember all the words behind Fulton County this morning. And I got them to email me because I, I got served last night with an ex parte. And from my understanding, an ex parte is, is, is a type of protective order for someone that feels like there's imminent danger. And I'm like, that night that's in question, when all of this started, Adriel called me. I have incoming call records where she called me that night. I didn't just follow her through the mall. We had, she had blocked me because I sent her girlfriend a message and, and told her girlfriend, can you please tell Adriel to stop calling me and texting me about your crybaby ass? Because all she does when we're on the phone is pillow talk about her girlfriend and how terrible she is as a partner and how she wants to be single and all these things and i'm like well if you want to be single like i can help you be single let me go ahead and text your girlfriend it was triggered by a, a statement that uh Adriel made on the phone it wasn't something that i was doing to be vindictive she said she made a comment to me and it did trigger me to text her girlfriend that night she did block me after that but after she blocked me and I have my, I would have been more prepared had I known I was, I had a restraining order against me. I didn't even know until yesterday. Um, but I pulled up, I don't know how this works, but I pulled up some of my phone records. There was not a phone 400 dial. That's exaggerated. Uh, it's probably about 45 calls. Mm. But in that, if you look at the call records, there's times where I would call her and she would answer and she told me that she was going to keep me blocked because her girlfriend was kind of like on to our situation and that she would call me back. And if you look in my call records, all of that shows you can subpoena my call records from Verizon. It shows all throughout the day where I would call her blocked maybe three times and then she would call back and we would stay on the phone for about 30, 40 minutes each time. Mm. And then that night in question in Lenox Mall, I don't remember the date. Uh, I looked at my credit card statement. I think it's wrong. It said February 6th, but I think it was the 7th. Uh, I paid for my food because Azrael called me. And on that call, she was she was doing an EJ in Lenox Mall. She was where she's always at in the like the food court area. And while she was on the call, like she does all the time, there was a guy that came up that was flirting with her. And I told her, I said, like, we already got our shit going. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm supposed to curse on this, but we already have our stuff going on. Like where your girlfriend, I didn't text your girlfriend. You're still talking to me. She was like, I'm just trying to figure things out. I, I can't deal with this right now. I, you know, I don't even know if I want to continue this. I was like, okay, cool. You've told, she's told me that like four or five times. And we've been talking since August 1st, 2022. I still have all my call, all my text records, which I can provide to the court. I'm sure she deleted hers because she's in a relationship. I was single this whole time, so I still have every proof of everything that has ever transpired between of us, between us, even after, I guess, the supposed order was in place uh, where I contacted her on Cash App. But that's just like, if you look at my Cash App from previous relationships, when I get blocked, I send them a dollar and say, hey, babe, please unblock me. Uh, huh. I did that three times in Cash App, and I contacted her on WhatsApp because that's the other app or that move. we talked on before. Um, I'm just reaching out. I never made any threat on her life. Uh, so I was shocked yesterday to find out about an ex parte. Um, that specific night in question, though, 
Um, and I, I'm sure she has the video because she was recording me when I was walking up to her. Um, when I walked up to her, I said, I, I, first of all, I was on the phone asking her, can you please come outside? Adro and I have been talking since August. Again, Linux Mall has footage that records every single day, 24 seven. If you pull back footage, you'll see how she and I would meet in the mall. We would have lunch together in the mall. She told me where she parks in the back of the mall. And I, I read through her statement where she said that I went to the officer's exit. That's our spot where I would meet her every night for us to mm. talk for the few minutes that she had before she, her girlfriend would call and she would leave. So it's not like I'm stalking her. And, and I didn't know this these these locations prior to that specific night though i'm asking her to to get the guy out of her ear it wasn't another officer it was a person in the mall she told me this guy's drunk and um i was like okay but like every time like you, we don't have that much time and you're going to be going home to your girlfriend in a minute so like tell him to walk off is if, if he's not if you're not dealing with any police or like please work with him then you can ask him to leave she didn't so i was like like you can't come outside and talk to me for five minutes, but you can stand there and talk to a drunk guy and let him flirt with you for however long you were going to let that go on. So then I got up, I was sitting with a friend in uh, North Italia, the restaurant attached to Linux mall. I walked to Linux mall. I'm yelling at Adro on the phone. We're on the phone this night. And you will see in, in, in all of whatever I need to send my call records to, there are block calls in between, but there are the times that she called me back and all those calls are incoming calls. So I literally walked, I was yelling at her all through the mall on the phone. She never once hung up. She stayed on the phone with me. I walked up to her and I said, whenever I walked up and I'm sure her body cam and other officers' body cameras that were there was four guys when I walked up. I said, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Let me some proof, Ms. Thompson, that she called you 400 times. 400? Uh, well, so I, That's what uh, she was uh, saying. Uh, she looked oh, and it was You got to show me some proof. That she called you and you told her to quit calling. And she's not but a friend. She, she admitted, Obviously, you guys are in some sort of relationship. In the side, whatever. But she's not just a friend. So show me some proof that you told her to stop calling you. you and that she called you that many times. How many times? Show me some proof. Share your uh, proof. Um, she did kind of like, I mean, she lied. She said they were just friends. I mean, right off the bat, she showed that she's not being honest with the yeah, I, there's a lot judge of honor. Her. A lot more. I she's saying that uh, she rolls up every night and they meet in her little parking spot uh back there. And she does, uh I mean Kim does come off like, you know, a bit like obsessed maybe with her, um, going to her work all the time. But again, we don't know if she's invited her during those four hundred phone calls. Good point. Uh I only have video uh part of her admitted to calling me. Oh, do I Tommy do Davidson. this? Um, Tommy Davidson, yes. Okay, um, your screen. Is she just said she has video of oh, her you know calling? What? I have it on the other phone as well. Maybe. Well, I mean, you have to share your screen so we can all I'm, see it. Just hold it up in place. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn it around to you How much of um, this? right now. How much is this? I, of, I didn't know I could. Um, her girlfriend found out. I was out able to do this. So gotta, I didn't oh, do I something. think uh, the girlfriend or the Kelly, boyfriend. Are you going to consent yeah. to something or you just you still want to have a hearing with your client? I, there needs really? to be more than slight stalking, though, right? Oh, Some absolutely. Yeah. I mean, she's got to feel like, I believe it's. Okay. Right, right. No. You're going to want to have your life's in danger, basically. Well, I, I would like to take a moment to speak with Miss James, um, if it's possible, but that's obviously her discretion. Why would she have to do with a, a unified yeah. announcement? Why does he want to talk to Miss James? Maybe we all want to talk to Miss James. Do you feel comfortable going in there and speaking with him? I mean, he, he can't do anything to you if he does anything inappropriate. I don't think his. Law license is worth it. Oh, so they want a uh, sure. That'll be oh, that's not a breakout room. Okay. Another case. Okay. God, Thank okay. you. I thought they had to just do with this case. Then y'all can just pop back in here. If you accidentally, it's like wait a minute. We're going to get a new character at this point. Okay, sounds good. The the case that was earlier today, the one that I showed Manning freaking out about that the girl that was involved in it, her parents were there in the room. Oh wow! As a like support, like they're on camera. It was really weird. I've, I've it was typically nothing you ever see. Uh, okay, Miss Thompson. 
video going to be any good? I don't no. know. I don't think so. If she can I even, I don't think she'll be able to even get it up. Oh, I got to see this. <laughs> Literally. Okay. This is. Oh, are you really going to? Sh- oh, come on. No, she already said you can't do that. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, can you hear it? No, no. Okay. Yes, Freddy. Um, yes. Yes. Glasses. Yes. Yes. Here, in case you didn't see it, I'll do a replay. No, no. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'm trying. Well, you need to share your screen. Play it. How many times did she call you? Show me a call off. Okay, I'm just um trying to see where do I share the screen from here. Share. I think you're a thousand percent right. Girlfriend is on to her. Yeah, pressure on. Trying to get a little heat off of her by doing it this way. Like I'm trying to tell her to stop. Yeah, she just stalking me. We ain't in love or nothing. We never, you know. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we got. We have anything real happening? Okay. Oh, there's a girlfriend. Oh, ho. Kim really got a good uh, look at that. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead and play it. If it sounds, you got to hit the little button that says include oh, sound. Please well, everybody... don't show me. Oh, she's been shopping for some bras. Six or six. Watch them pictures, girl. Be oh. careful. Kim, you see this beautiful home you nearly destroyed. <laughs> I see this beautiful family here. You see this beautiful family ripping apart. Oh, so much. Matching. But, oh, somebody was, had a tight bod in that picture. Right there. Boom. Um, just give I, me one minute, ma'am, so I could just select the thing because all my there's a lot pictures of, uh, are in Pictures of topless men. Yeah. Her, uh, I don't want to. Oh. Everybody's saying she was playing for both teams, but my son picture and stuff. One, you know what they call that greed? Greedy. Greedy. I, I'd say about 50 50 chance, Jack. 50 50. Low to Midland. I love it when people oh. just have no idea what they're doing. Grigsy, do you see text now? Oh, that's a little uh I like that. That's Mr. Harmonious. Did you figure out how to work your audio? Scandalous. I didn't see that. Scandalous. I saw a few half naked men. Nope, you yeah. didn't. Some some chesticles. Uh, that yeah, should have been easy to bring up. All of, uh, but ain't nothing we can do if you're, you're gonna say four hundred phone calls, especially if you're a cop. This is kind of part of your thing, getting uh, you know the facts Evidence. around. Yeah, get I'll pull it together. Right, here we go. Chris, are you going to the track today? By the way. Okay. Or just tomorrow. It's okay. Oh, yeah. All right, you got it figured out. Yes, ma'am. I have to put it in a where I could just <laughs> rub it without. It. <laughs> Right? Put your cheating stuff in a folder, man. Get that calculator app they talk about. You know, everything's uh, hidden in the calculator. You know you got stuff you want to share and show. Yeah, the text now, that's that's some shady stuff there. That's, you know, on the, the DL. Okay, can you see that, ma'am? Not sharing your screen yet. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Maddox even uh, I love so God I love today. I, I feel so bad for her, but oh, it's such okay. beautiful it's stuff, but still I, I really feel bad. Really bad. It's one of those days. I, you were just sharing your screen. Like I they should have like a countdown. Have you figured it out yet? 
got a countdown on her. No, Baki, you have to share You're on the clock. Still. It's saying I'm share screen. But it ain't sharing. All I can see is you. Screen. Sharing is Karen. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh. In now. What? Oh. Who that? Okay. Hibiscus. Okay, no. Okay. There we go. You did ah. it. Sorry. You're welcome. Bruh, bruh. What, what, what's going on with you? There's nothing going on with me. My legs. Why did you say you couldn't drive? My legs is hurting. What's up? What's wrong with your leg? Nothing is wrong with it. It's better. It's good. What's up? Why didn't you talk to me just now? Why did you make me look stupid like that? <laughs> okay. Talk to me. What, what do you need from me? It doesn't matter what I need from you. I never got it anyway. Okay, so what's, what's, what's up? What can I do for you now? What are we trying to prove here? Yeah. Well, that's that's one. I guess not in that one, but maybe. That's one, one phone call. Question. I, was that recorded after... The thing in the mall yesterday, or whatever. A couple yeah, she days. said you she walked said, away from me, and all this other stuff. And and then she answered her phone call and record that. Am I right? Is that How, when she Judge May asked for proof that she was calling you a whole bunch, told, not calling you once. What? Uh, that proves she called you one time. That, well, that that's is all that is. That is a little something. If that if that was the phone call after the meet where she pulled out the taser at the mall when when she had walked up to her because she had a protection order against her uh it says it's february 3rd uh, so it wasn't them no. all right february 3rd what a weird phone call I, I that proves nothing at all other than she called her if anything uh she didn't say nothing wacky nice of that uh, yeah nothing about cutting her tongue out or anything but she hasn't yeah why why can we not uh, unless she's using another number can you judge? Just don't forget that I love you too. Okay. Same day. Right here. Like seriously, you always play me fucking left. Like I don't have feelings. Okay, well, I'm sorry if you feel like that. You don't mean that shit. It's your same old sorry as sorry you always give for everything. So what can I do for you? Oh, that makes me nuts. You keep saying that. I, what yeah. Can what can I do for me? What can I do for you? You're making me crazy. Getting a little bit weird. I don't want to lose my job. I'm trying to just focus on my son. I have a lot of stuff going on, and I'm not. I'm what are you talking about? Like, what are you even talking about? You're a human. Just explain it for what it was. It ain't got nothing to do with your job. Okay, but you're calling me about Kim caught feelings. Times. Oh, yeah. She doesn't hear what I love you. 400 times. I call you 400 times. Oh, yes. It's about 400 times. No, it was like 200 times. So, um, judges are alone. Okay, she just admitted to 200 times. So, That's I mean, 160 more than she admitted to earlier under oath. Definitely. Why'd you call her 200 times? Yeah, Ashley thinks that's funny. Ashley's laughing. She said fun the whole day. 200 times. Let me see. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not Council. sure that it was 200 times. I she said no. 200, but stand by. Council, what did you guys figure out? I don't know how many times I can pull up the record. I just said right, that stop because talking. we were stop at a talking. point where... Stop talking. Okay. Go ahead, Council. Don't figure out Yes, issue. Your Honor, it's okay. I believe that we're going to need to move forward with the hearing this, this afternoon, okay. whenever you're ready. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you. right, it's on there, Mr. Gore. It said 200 times. I didn't call you 400. I called you 200. So here's what I'm looking at this as, is that you and uh, Ms. Thompson have an yes, affair. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Thompson, if your girlfriend or whatever don't know that you were having an affair, 
She knows now. You might want to find another place to sleep this evening because she knows now. Yeah, um, so I wasn't. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I don't hear about it. Ain't none of my business. I don't care. Yes, I know Coach. everything is right in my house. You got to get your house in order. But this is this is that's right, ma'am. That's so, right. I mean, yeah. What do you want me to do with this lady? She sit there and said, I mean, and why in the world would you call her two hundred times? It was just. I mean, I don't know. I, I was, was in love, I missed her Honor. that day. She blocked me, and I was just calling her because I was blocked. She never told me that she was going to block me. She just blocked me. So I just called her until she answered. And we talked more after that. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Burke. What do you, what's your um, opinion of yourself? I think I'm pretty awesome. Really? Oh, absolutely. You think you're so awesome. You must not have a really high opinion of yourself because you're messing around with somebody who's in a relationship with somebody. And that uh, doesn't... Got caught up in that. Well, you know, how did you get caught up in it? How I started you having get... feelings instantly. I had feelings okay, instantly. Okay, and when she said, I got somebody who's Instant. supposed to be way more mature than those feelings, that ain't got caught up. I got, I've had feelings for people too. It was really hard because she worked in, in the store that I worked in. So I seen her every day. We would text every day and it turned into that. It turned into me loving her and loving everything about her and making sure anything that she told me she needed, I got it. <sighs> I never needed anything. Um, the, day, the video that you just played with your feet hurting, I have boots in my trunk because the shoes that you wear to work oh are not right. What are y'all going to do? What are you going to do? I didn't ask. Are you going to keep seeing her? Because y'all are serious. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing her at all. Since, she, uh, since that incident, I never spoke back with her. Since I blocked her, I've never called her. So she said I blocked her and called her. I it's answered her, her and started to record her. I never. So when did she we, call we you, never, Mr. Dora? This is insane. I never so called her once I blocked her. Never, second. ever contacted her. Never, ever after. So February 2nd was the day that she initially blocked me because we were on the phone and I take, I would always threaten her to call, to tell her girlfriend. And it was just like, I, I wasn't really going to do it. It was it's just, just like, funny. It, it was just it's something just that typical, because, I'm the side piece and I'm going to make all these empty threats. Yes, because is. honestly, it was like she would tell me all these bad things about her girlfriend and how she wasn't good for her and how she wanted to be single. And I'm like, so leave her. She lives with you. You have everything. She lives off you. So why don't you just leave her? And she would be like, she can't, she, she won't leave. Maybe, I'm what, like, maybe okay. there is a producer from Lifetime that can make a book, that can write a movie about this because that's about what it is on that old like. <laughs> <laughs> even after even after the second though your honor we conversed we conversed all the way up until the seventh i'm sorry let me check my right, check. Look, look. since i blocked you i've never called you or talked you to you about anything that i was let me tell you something let me tell you something yes ma'am <clears throat> give her a minute it's been a tough day Take your time. Since Stonewall. Judge Yawada. LGBTQ people have fought like crazy. People have died at Stonewall. People have gotten beaten up. People have lost their friends, their family. They fought to get the right to marry and to be treated just like everybody else. They don't even like to say same-sex marriage. Heck, it's a marriage, one or the other. But this... This is what all of the naysayers, they say, see them gay people shouldn't be able to be married again. Exactly. No, listen well, to me. Family Not realizing that there's plenty of men that do the same crap, but what are y'all doing? Y'all just give fodder to those people to say, oh, gay people shouldn't be able to do nothing. Shouldn't be able to have kids. Shouldn't be able to do this. Shouldn't be able to do that. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Because people, when they see people acting out like this, they will they will use you too and say that's what all gay people act like. That's what people will do. That's what non-gay people. That is what they do. I've heard it, and that's not it. Y'all are just regular people, but you came on here and you aired your laundry. But it's embarrassing. We are fighting today still for women's rights, same-sex rights. <laughs> we ain't been able to vote that long. But y'all want to get on here. Let me tell you, Ms. Thompson, you want a divorce? You want to dump your girlfriend? She's not right for you? Dump her. Ms. Segura, leave her alone. I'm not putting a TPO because both y'all are going to probably lose your jobs. 
Dude. Y'all better get the acting right. And Miss Thompson, you're on the EJ? Are you working? You better be out there policing. Stop messing around with somebody that you see. It. I was a cop for 15 years, and I'd be damned if I wasted time with anybody on the side. When I'm there, I'm doing my job, extra job or whatever. Miss Segura, she comes back one more time and says you called her again. You're gonna, I'm going to put a TPO on your head so fast it'll make your head swim. You hear me? I don't me. even have her number now. She changed her number. And oh, good. Leave her alone. I don't I care. Don't you can call. I, I see what, Mr. Gore, if she calls you and gives it to you, why don't you block it? She don't like to hear that. I don't know your no. definition of love, but that ain't a definition of love. Honestly, when you see the movie, you will see all the facts. When you see the movie, you Craig, you'll, you'll, you'll get all the facts. You don't love somebody, you're going to cheat on somebody. She tells you to stop calling or stop calling. And guess what? We were, she bought you, judge, we were friends. She will not she, make somebody answer the question. Don't make them answer the phone. Uh, Judge, I'm sorry. Did you ask a uh, question? I missed it. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I said, I'm telling her if you call her, if you call her once, twice, three, forty, fifty, two hundred times, they're gonna make her answer the phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Judge, I she's a friend that I hooked up with one of my friends as well. Ah, so, you hook me up with her friends so that wanna, I can be around. See, I don't want to hear all that. Okay. I don't want to hear all that. All right, so I can't. I, mean, I, I really it's don't okay, want to hear all that. I, I really don't because it just I copy. I copy. And Miss Thompson, you know for a fact when you get into something like this, you could lose your job because somebody could say you did something, whether you did it or not, and go lie on you. And you know you could lose your job. Kim, you listen. You got to be extra careful. I'm not saying you, Mister Gore, but you got to be it's careful. Really vindictive. There you that's go. Good. That's why. That's why I'm doing this because she keeps showing up everywhere, and I don't know. Stop showing up it's where she's at. She, she, she told me she killed people. She tell me a lot of stuff. I, she, I'm she just trying to protect myself because of my DJ. job. She only took Midtown Blue because I live at 855 West Peachtree, and she said that was a time for us to spend together. I have. All I did not say. What are you talking about? I live at. Not what would I say that job for all. you? You I did that job at 855 Peachtree. You're gonna see me. I don't think I'll place your emails in the chat. Just mute them. Good God. Wow. What a day. What a day, Creed. Judge Manning really having to lay down the law. She did. She let it, she let it go for just a minute. Hey, I mean, the girl says she said love. It was instant love, this, that, and the other. And Judge Manny's right. You're 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 setting a bad uh, precedence. You're you're out, oh. and one girl out there cheating on her girlfriend, and out like she's the victim. Come on, man! You asked for this. You asked for this. <laughs> I'm guessing that she got Kim caught the feels, and it was kind of an FWB thing. Mm -hmm. Uh she caught a little bit too many feels, and the other one's like, no. Mm hmm. About to mess up my situation. Uh, another, another uh, one going after that protection order. Zero case. Zero actual uh, stuff. I just, I, it's just crazy to me. It's like anything that happened, she encouraged it. One hundred percent. I go monkey. The, they'll be talking to each other tomorrow. I guarantee it. I yeah. Uh, and Griggsy see the uh, text now thing. I, I like that. I didn't. I didn't see that, but uh, I believe it. That was crazy. All right, another great day in court. Don't forget, we back. We got a chase coming up four oh five East. One of my favorite days, Florida Friday. Yeah, bunch of stuff. Uh, got some stuff from our friends over at Florida Cop Cam. If you haven't checked them out, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? And thank you to the other court chats that come in here, like uh, Time Serve. Check them out. Also, I saw a kitchen court chat in here. You guys are awesome. Thank you. God bless. And big crowd today, too. Appreciate Papa that. Papa bless. Always love that. Slamming tacos. Creed, what do you think these fine people so we can just walk out the door? Oh, yes, I will. Uh, today deserves... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Manning Express today for the Monetary Monorail. Flusha, thank you so much. Lisa B, Gary, Carol, Flusha again. Kev, Angela, I will go for Lisa. Not a vampire. Uh, Flusha 2.0, Georgia. My Baffled Brain, Ed. Flusha 3.0, Nancy. Flusha for the win? I guess so. Uh, talk is laughing. Those of you who missed uh, last week's uh, members only. Oh, there she is. That's a happy Manning. Unlike the Manning we saw today, that's a happy Manning. We watched uh, Ragavucky uh, walk down the beach, and it was amazing. <laughs> I laughed <laughs> so, so hard. Fun. I still laugh about it. I laughed so hard watching so him hard. just say stuff about people. So don't forget, uh, members only for the main channel at 5.30 East. I think that's it. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. To the 1,500 news subscribers, we say thank you. To everybody subscribed to We Got a Case That Got It to 1,000. And now we're monetized. They accepted us, Creed. We're, we are loved by a few people. Man. We're in the crowd. We're doing it to it. Until next time, you guys behave yourselves. Yeah, get Hey now. Ha! Gay!